All right, everybody, today I'm going to show you how I create a 360 degree stereoscopic VR rig to um, take images and um, or render images and render, you know, animations in VR. Uh, now, a while ago, uh, probably, gosh, it's probably been a couple years ago, I did this, but I only did it with one camera um, and it wasn't a, you know, wasn't a very good uh, VR experience. But this way, we're going to have some depth in it. Because if you want to have any kind of depth in VR with images, you absolutely have to have the left eye and right eye. So let's just do this. Let's create, um, first of all, let's get our camera about where we want it. Go up in here. Uh, we do want, so one thing we want to look at is we want to, because we're, okay, let's do this. Let's, I have some cameras in the scene. I'm just going to get rid of all those and we are just going to create a new camera. Um, active viewport of the perspective view and we'll switch to that. Okay, and from there we want to get, you know, the usual height. I think the average height of, peop of people are, is about 168 centimeters. So you want about 168. Uh, one thing that I also suggest is that you always have the subject somewhat close to the center of um, the camera. And this is going to make things a lot easier because there isn't a 100% great way of doing this and getting the everything to line up between the two cameras. But if you have the subject that you want the viewer to look at to be towards the center, and it doesn't have to be exactly center, but at least somewhat, um, it's going to make things a lot easier. So what we want to do here is we want to do create a new group and let's parent this to it and let's just call this VR rig and we're going to call this the left camera, come on. We'll just call this left cam or make it, let's make it easier. Let's go bottom cam. Okay. And let's create a, another um, camera. Also from there, pair it to this. Stop being a jerk. There we go. Uh, oh, I'm at, at, yeah, okay, top cam, okay. And let's, let me move one to the other. You son of a bitch. Okay, anyway, we'll leave it there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so what we wanna do with the top cam is we wanna have that in the, um, well, first of all, let's get, Let's zero all these out. No rotation. Top cam. And we are in the bottom cam right now. Let's go to the top cam. And oh shoot. Let's see why. Okay. okay. So if we go from top cam to bottom cam, it should be the same exact view right now. Now there's two ways we could do this. I mean, well, first of all, we obviously need to go into each of these, go to lens, switch these both to spherical. Oh. And it, we see that it's kind of working right now. Let's go back to texture shaded so it's a little easier to move stuff around. Um, now you can do this uh, completely in the uh, lens off, lens stereo offset if you want. And if you were to do that, you know, you go negative 33 for the top, 33 for the bottom. What I found is it doesn't quite work perfectly. Um, now the other option you have, to be able to do this and have some depth is you can go in and in your general and, you know, for the top go, say negative 3.3 and then 3.3 .3. 
Now the problem with this is that if the character is anything but right in front or if they get too close to the camera, uh, the perspective doesn't look quite right either. So I've found the best solution is to kind of split it halfway. And what I usually do is I do like 0.2 or negative two and two with the X. Oh shoot, hold on just a second. I'm in the uh, rotate. That's my bad. Okay. We don't want to do that in the rotate. We want to go into the translate. On the top, negative two, bottom two. And then we're gonna also go into the lens and we're gonna go, um, I think I think what I usually do is on the top, negative 15, and then on the bottom of 15. Let's make sure that's in the right thing. Lens stereo offset, lens stereo offset. And from what I've found, this gives the best solution. Uh, now let's see, what else do we need to do? We need to change the render settings. And I got a VR set up right here. It's 4096 by 2048 for each one. Um, okay, the Y translate, this is where we need to switch it. So get a 168. Uh, let's also just do a little bit here to make it look a little bit better. And we're gonna go to constraints and we're gonna put this on uh, her eyes on the VR rig. I found that to make this look really cool. You can maybe twist the neck. There we go. And now it actually looks like she's looking at it. Uh, let's look at the preview. All right. So I got that pretty good. Oops. Let's go smooth shaded so we can look at this better. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to look at this and make sure that the camera is going to be close enough to get a really good look at her. We look at the VR rig and it's pretty far away. We're going to move the VR rig closer and then you know, the cool thing about this is that now the everything else moved with. And if we, let's go back into top cam, video IRA preview. Cool, it looks like she's kind of looking up at us. Um, I think that's gonna work out pretty well. I'm gonna show you one more trick and then at the end of this video, kind of show you the um, image um, well, I'll explain this real quick because I'm not going to show this in the tutorial. Once you have a image of your bottom cam and your top cam, just take them into Photoshop or GIMP or whatever. Um, make a 4096 by 4096 canvas um, and then snap the top one to the top of it, the bottom one to the bottom one of it, and then create a PNG or a JPEG. Um, I also uh, suggest, because this ends up being really... Um, this really kicks your GPU's butt. Um, I generally do uh, the camera in one spot for several different poses and then render the background separately. Uh, unless if you've got a really good GPU, that's gonna be your best way to go. Let's see, let's go. And then the last thing I wanted to say is you can use this and make it quicker uh, by using the render uh, spot render tool and always make sure you go to new window I don't I have no clue why it goes to viewport you can't do anything with it but here's the thing though if you were to try to do a, a spot render right here it's not going to get this part of her because that's not really where the render is you actually have to go into the NV NVIDIA IRA preview and then We get in there and then if we do a that little spot right there then it's going to start rendering just that part of her now the cool thing about this is like 
with how long it's going to take to render all the... Whoa, what the heck just happened there? That is strange. I'll try to figure that out in a second. That's really strange. Let's see if we can figure out why the heck got that. I don't have... I don't accidentally have any kind of... What would I have in there that would... Try this again. But while I'm talking about this, this does work, even if it's not going to work right now. It does work really well. Um, but the cool thing is that you can maybe change her... Um, maybe change her facial expressions and have several different... Uh, you know, frames of different facial expressions without having to render out the whole thing and then automatically pop it on top of the other one, um, the original, and, you know, give her different uh, facial expressions. It works out really, really well. Uh, let's try to just render this. Let's see, do I have, I wonder what I have going on here. I have a canvas active. That is what's going on. Now this should work, I think. Cool. And it's going to take that, and I can pop that right on her other one, um, on, on the original once I have that uh, rendered. Uh, do the same. You got to do the same thing for the bottom and the top. Um, if you're going to, like, move her head or anything like that, then you have to make sure that, you know, you get the entire part of it that has the shadow or any kind of lighting change. Uh, but besides that, you can do quite a few different uh, VR renders pretty quickly in this. Uh, but anyways, uh, at the end of this video, I'll pop on a example of what the image looks like. Um, and then you, uh, yeah, um, just let me know if this has been any help for you uh, in the comments. Uh, and I'm going to do some more of these pretty soon. I've got a couple other things, cool things I've been doing with the uh, in the VR space as far as with Das Studio and I kind of want to show you guys what I got going on. All right, everybody have a great day.